There was a period of time when I didn't think having a basketball season was possible. Several athletic directors and coaches said, Jason, it's not looking good. No state tournament, but we had basketball. Most of our teams stayed healthy, so job well done our last Friday night of high school hoops. Let's have some fun. Here we go. Goreville at Benton. Rangers down double digits first half. And check out the hustle. Jacob Seidel, the save. Peyton Bayless feeds it right back to him. And the big fella drains the three. Black Hats turn. Yes, Briley done on the attack. The dish to Chase Quigley for two. Goreville up 13. Then it's Dylan Compton. The stop pop and watch it drop. But Rangers down 10 at the break and go on a run. Reed Baumgart finishes the break up and under the and one. And Benton feeling momentum. Crashing the offensive glass. Winds up in Seidel's hands. He's fouled, gets it to go, and Benton rallies all the way back for a 64-60 victory. Next we go to Vienna, Massac County in town to take on the Eagles, and Brody Smallman gets a pass in the corner and add three to their score. Massac coming back for more. Skyler Blankenship gets it up, smacks it away. Uh-uh, but here we go, a no-look pass to Isaac Hossman, and Hossman gets it from beyond the arc. The Eagles, though, looking to make a comeback. Owen Treat gets the pass and puts it in. And how about this? Hossman going to find J.J. Sweat, add two more. Woo, pretty pass, and the Patriots take this one, 66-34. All right, let's make our way to El Dorado. Eagles hosting Johnston City. And El Dorado turning defense into offense. Parker Price, the theft, the finish. But Johnson City looking for a spark. Jordan Winninger, the short jumper. Indians down just three. But El Dorado can get up the court in a hurry. From rebound to quick passes. Bryant Bird using the glass. Second quarter, though. El Dorado more defense. Gage Heath, the steal, going the distance. The lead now 12. And El Dorado really focusing on defense. It's Price again. Doesn't get it to go, but there's Aiden Whitlock saving the day with the tip in. And El Dorado up 25. They go on to win 69-38. The Greater Egyptian Conference Tournament still went on this year. Now this season, no fans allowed. And the highest seed played host. Two teams left standing. Let's head out to Norris City. NCOE hosting Crab Orchard, and the Cardinals going to swing the ball around the floor. CJ Richardson, ah, uh, make that twine dance. NCOE increases their lead to 10. The Cards continuing to work their magic, this time going inside to 6'7", senior Joe Melton, the and one. He had a team high 25 points, but the Tro Trojans hanging in there. Shot gets blocked, but Noah Herring in the paint to finish the play. He had a game high, 26 points, but the Cardinals begin to pull away. Robbie Rooker, not giving up, takes it up the floor and under. And how about this Ty Money, a force on both ends of the floor, storms his way up the court. Cardinals would win the Greater Egyptian Conference Tournament 60 to 42. Kendra Sheehan now joins us from North City with more on the big game. Hey Jason, NCOE came out sharp today, but it was the third quarter they really created some separation between them and Crab Orchard. But the highlight of today's game came with under three minutes ago in the fourth quarter. It was a tie money to Joe Melton dunk that had the entire team cheering. The bench were off their seats. The limited spectators we had were cheering loudly. And for those two seniors, it was the perfect way to end their high school careers. I feel like every time I get the ball in the front court, I can always hear Joe in the back of my head going, tie. So I know that he's wait waiting for a dunk, so I thought I'd give him a little lob, and he, uh, he punched it. Well, to be honest, we've never even practiced that. It just, it just kind of happened, so I'll take it. That's a heck of an exclamation point on our season and on their careers. Um, I asked them after the game if they'd ever worked on that before because I'd never seen it, even in open gyms or practices, and they said no. So uh, like I said, it's a, it's a great way to go out and uh, – it was fun to watch. I'm glad I got to be a part of it. The Cardinals finished the season 12 and 1, going out on top on their home floor. Reporting in NCOE, Kendra Sheehan, News 3 Sports. Great job, Kendra. Fun recap.
Congrats to NCOE. All right, let's finish up with some scores. Agape Christian Clobber Shawnee, 65-25. Knights finish the year at 14-2. Mount Vernon has their way with Cahokia, 59-33. Hamilton County outlasts Edwards County, 61-55. Fairfield a winner over Carmine White County, 56-40. Mules now 17-1 on the year. Back to the GEC tournament. Hardin County takes home third place, 49-34 over Carrier Mills. Nashville routes Chester, 52-32. Girls Hoops Benton tops Goreville, 43-33. And Woodlawn gets by Harrisburg, 44-40.